much needed bridge built in record time and a pledge to pave all of Kabul's major roads within the next 12 months. After a year on the job, Kabul's mayor, Mohammad Yunus Nawandish, is earning respect from some of the city's cynical residents. We got the right mayor for Kabul this time. He has really worked hard, cleaned our city and done everything properly. He did a good job on the Puli Mahmud Khan Bridge. He's really a hard worker and professional. Approval from the public here is not easily won, and for good reason. Kabul's previous mayor, Abdul Ahad Sahibi, faced corruption charges in 2009, but was never jailed. Many public works projects stalled, while others moved ahead without proper planning. Unfortunately, corruption within the Kabul municipality was a big problem, and people were suffering from that. We launched a major campaign against corruption, and this has been effective to some extent, so I will continue with it. Now workers are out on the streets building roads, overpasses and much needed drainage ditches. But it's a massive task. Kabul is a city bursting at the seams, with war refugees pushing the population four or five times above the original planned capacity of one million people. Around two-thirds of its housing is thought to have been illegally built and is substandard. And in some areas, rubbish goes uncollected for weeks. What is most important is that the Kabul mayor gets rid of the city's dust, pollution and garbage. Overcoming the municipality's bad image has been crucial to gain new funding. The amount the city can generate itself through tax and fees is far less than what it needs. Now Indish is said to have worked hard to build good relationships with donors, who are able to be active in the supervision of projects. But despite the money now on offer, the mayor acknowledges there are bumps in the road ahead. I don't think that I've succeeded yet. I have so many programs, but we currently don't have enough personnel or machinery at the Kabul municipality to implement them all. Ongoing problems with security, which are not part of the mayor's brief, also threaten to undo some of the new work. But at the very least, the steady hum of earth movers on the streets is a sign that the city is moving in the right direction.